What's going on everybody? Today is Friday. Welcome to another ticker fee video and welcome to the ticker fee family. So the ticker symbol we're going to be talking about today is OCGN or OCUGEN. And what we're going to be talking about specifically is the three catalysts that could send this stock soaring again. All right, so keep that in mind and then we'll finish this video off with a chart analysis. And for those that have been supporting me so far, I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So if you're tuning in about OcuGen for the first time or just learning about this company for the first time, I'm just going to read this quick little summary. That way you have a better understanding of the company. So OcuGen is a biopharmaceutical company focused on discovering, developing, and commercializing therapies to treat blindness diseases, right? So they're focused more on eyes, but also COVID-19, which we'll talk about later. So they say that they have a breakthrough modifier gene therapy platform that has the potential to treat multiple retinal diseases with one drug. Again, I've spoke about this company before in previous videos. Uh, I really do appreciate the type of uh, technology that they have. I've worn contacts and glasses my whole life, so I completely understand when it comes to the eyes. So they say that their novel biologic product candidate aims to offer better therapy to patients with under under served disease such as wet age related macular de degeneration which you can see is the ocu 410 then they've got the ocu 400 for treatment of inherited retinal disorders and then their ocu 200 okay so that's going to be for the treatment of neovascular disorders again it's mainly focused on the eyes but they've also come out with the product which is going to help with COVID-19 and it's massive results so let's go and check that out let's talk about those three catalysts that could send this stock soaring again and again all right so on March 11th OCGN stock received a big boost from the announcement about the removal of the clinical trial mode okay so first of all that's a massive deal right so why is that said? By removing the clinical trial mode, the label from the Barat Biotech's Covaxin COVID-19 vaccine, Ocugen is the American partner of the Indian-based Barat. This move was a massive deal for the company because, again, removing that label brings confidence to be able to boost vaccination numbers. And so you can see where I've highlight highlighted that because that's a massive deal. Boosting the vac vaccination numbers is helping people, but it's also bringing revenue in. More people equals more revenue, so it's 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 a win-win. Now, with more people willing to take the vaccine, an uncertainty creating label, as a result of the news, shares moved substantially higher, which we saw. Now, however, it appears that Covaxin could also potentially become a key player, and again, this is what I highlighted because I thought this was important, was the global mass vaccination effort. So initial reports show that there were high levels of antibody response and no serious side effects in their phase two study of the vaccine, which to me is a big deal because I've, I know some people that have taken these shots. And on the first shot, I, I've heard that um, basically they get the symptoms, they feel bad for three or four days, it makes their arm hurt and, and, and whatnot. And so for high levels of antibody response and no serious side effects, I think that's great. Now, here's the other thing, and I think this is a key, key benefit, like it says. Covaxin is the ability or has the ability to be stored at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which means transportation, tractor trailers, right? You got those 18 wheelers. That's going to be a lot cheaper versus other vaccines that meet, need much colder temperatures, which is going to be a lot more expensive. And you have less trucks that are able to do that. So I thought that was a good uh, area to... Uh, understand now here's the other thing furthermore now they've got this thing called the quad group of countries right so that's going to be japan india and the u.s and australia announced a plan effort in the indian vaccine manufacturing in particular right so while currently focused on other vaccines like novavax nvax and the other one azn Covaxin could be in the mix now due to its Indian connections. So they've got another angle that they can be involved in. So again, to me, that's only going to be another catalyst and opportunity for the stock itself to grow. Now, here's the other thing. March 18th, solid earnings, which is always great. So the first one is, 
It beats analyst expectations. Its net loss was only 31 cents per share. That's that's a massive deal. So I like that. Now the company's cash and cash equivalent swelled up over 24 million versus 7.4. Clearly that's a big deal. I always like having cash on hand. I'm not huge on debt. Yeah, we might need need debt or we have to do that in our, in order to do research and development, but keep that in mind that still, you know, we're keeping cash in the bank and so that allows the opportunity to be able to have that liquid to use it elsewhere. Now, it also says that the this comes as a result of the capital raises that Oxygen has engaged in to provide runway for its vaccine vaccine development for the clinical trials, which makes sense. Now, here's the other thing that I pointed out. So not only that, the bigger news is the release in the company's move to work with U.S. regulators on gaining a similar emergency use authorization in the states. So the company is hopeful that it can g gain traction in the U.S. for COVID-19 rates, given its success in India, which is great because when you have the results and the data is there, why wouldn't you, especially now that more and more people are, are take, you know, getting the shot. Now, here's here's the last thing. You got the longer term growth prospects enticing. So finally, in addition to the vaccine, there's also a lot about the Occugen's OQ400 drug, which we talked about earlier. So this drug is aimed at inherited retinal disorders, right? So that's in the pipeline. So in the same earnings release, you've got Occugen, which I've highlighted, are preparing to file and investigate new drug application to initiate their first two clinical trials trials of Ocu 400 in the second half of the year. Okay, so that's great. So as it's pointed out, there's two good reasons for that. First, timelines are extremely important for investors in biotech. Well, why is that the case? Well, that allows you to get liquid yourself, get ready, and when you know on the back half of this year, you can have money ready because you know but uh that this the stock itself is going to go up so you want to kind of buy a few more shares if that's your plan right prior to you know uh the application going through right the other thing is this reduces the execution risk that many investors may be pricing into ocgn stock and this is still an early stage biopharmacy company which is massive i mean they're only getting started but here's the conclusion for ocgn and then we'll finish off with the chart analysis now, Occugen has a $1.4 billion valuation. That's great. It's growing. That's what we want to see. The other thing is, as far as clinical stage biotech company goes, the stock looks attractive right now, right? So, however, if the company does in fact get U.S. emergency use approval for Covaxin, all bets are off as how high it could go. And the, this, the stock itself is still cheap, so this is great. So now let's go look at the chart analysis. For those that don't know how to read a candlestick chart, it's pretty simple. Uh, well, at least there's a simple method of displaying the price information in the market. So unlike a simple line chart, because um, some people have those type of charts, but each series on a candlestick chart contains four data points. So again, you've got the opening price, the high price, the low price, and the closing price, okay? So here's the thing. When you're looking at the anatomy of the candlestick, you've got the body, which indicates the open and close range. You've got the wigs, also called tells or shadows, which are the long, thin lines above and below the main body. These reveal the intraday highs and lows. And then you've got the color, which most of us know, right? So when you see it green at the end of the day, that means whatever it opened up at, it closed higher. And then it's vice versa for the red, which most people know, right? So that's gonna that's how you can determine those those opens, those highs, and those lows. But the other thing is what you wanna look at is gonna be the volume itself. So with the volume, you're looking at the um, buys and sells, right? It's, it's not one or the other, it's both. And then the other thing is the resistance, okay? And then the support. So if you're looking at the trend line, right? So you can see it hovered around about roughly 35 cents for a while right opened up at 30 whatever the case is then slowly you've got this spike and this is what I'm talking about this is the whole body it's green then you've got the wick so that's gonna be that volume so there's a lot of volume on February the 8th right then you see look on here you've got March the 3rd it's red now look at the wick here's the whole body and here's the wick so that the uh, you've got support 
and the support brought us all the way up on a high of 1877, but then it slowly leveled out. And so you're looking at the new resistance, which is going to be low what that high was, almost to where the uh, March the 3rd took place. And so as you can see, it's got a new support line with that volume. So guys, I hope this uh, overall video um, added some value. I, I really do appreciate the support that you've been giving me. It really means a lot. Hopefully this will help you decide on what you want to do with this stock, either buy or sell or whatever the case is. Leave a comment down below if you own this stock or if this is the first time listening to this video or how many stocks you own. I always enjoy the comments. I really do appreciate it. So with that being said, guys, uh, welcome to the Ticker Fee family.